Hello everyone. I just wanted to take a minute and show you guys how I had done the Bible Reader app on Sunday. Uh, a couple of people asked how, and I wanted to show you just how easy it is. It's one of those apps you can actually get away with building in less than 15 minutes. The hardest part of this app is finding the right RSS feed. So remember that RSS feeds are read-only, but they're great ways to give people access to information. So it's great for information sharing, for news, for any type of reading that you might want to do to information that's changing on some frequency. In my case, I was looking for daily Bible readings. And so I went to uh, Bing and I did a search for Bible reading U, uh, URLs for RSS feeds. And I found this one. Now, I was careful when I was looking for my feed to find one with text from the Bible exactly in the app because I didn't want an RSS feed that told me what to go read. I wanted an RSS feed that had the Bible reading embedded in it so that I could read it um, from a grocery line or while I'm in a waiting room waiting to see a doctor or something that I would have Bible reading available to me on my mobile phone. And I didn't want to have to switch applications. And so uh, when you're looking for your RSS feed, make sure that you test it to make sure it has what you expect it to have. Because, you know, I think that's the hardest part of this app, finding the right RSS feed. Now, I was very happy with this one. You can see the URL up above. And I just copied and pasted it. And that's what you see in step one here. Okay. Now, in order to complete step one, I need to add the connect the connector. So I'm going to go ahead and hit add data source. And you would find that if you if you don't see it on the right, go to view menu and choose data sources. And then if you have an RSS feed or if you have used it already, you can get it from your list of connectors. Otherwise, if you've never used RSS feeds before, you may have to click on new connection and all of our connectors will show. RSS will be in the R's because they're all alphabetically listed. So I'm gonna add RSS, which is the connection I already had. And then I'm gonna do these other steps and it'll be done. So I'm going to insert a new screen and I'm gonna get a blank one because I don't need anything extra. I just need two controls. I'm gonna put a media control at the top where I'm going to use basically the same image always on top of my um, reading. And then I'm going to choose a uh, blank flex flexible height gallery for um, the actual RSS feed. And uh, you could use any uh, gallery. I just, I like the flexible height. It made sense to me because it's, these are different lengths. Um, and but you can use any one you want. So I'm going to do RSS feed list feed items. And this is the function we use to get the RSS feed. And then I'm going to take that URL that I had and I'm going to paste that. Sorry, I just I'm going to paste that right here in quotation marks. And then end it with a close paren. So what that will do is that's what's calling the data from my RSS feed. The last thing I need is the controls that hold the data. So I'm going to add a label just for the title because there's a title on every page. I think it's basically, you know, what kind of reading is this is. And then I'm going to also add a HTML text control in my gallery. And that will be the um, actual Bible reading. So I will make the that auto height to be true, just to make sure it adjusts based on the reading. And I will also uh, set that value to be summary. Most of the RSS feeds have summary as the actual reading. Uh, what I noticed is what in, in the case of most RSS feeds that I have played with. And then finally, I wanna go find an image for this. So I'm gonna go to Bing. And I love the way you can look for images here. I'm going to choose a mountain image just because I think of God when I think of mountains, um, maybe because he made them. And I'm going to filter this for images that are either small or medium. You definitely don't need large images for this. 
and then you pick the image that you love and I'm going to love this one. And you just take the URL that's at the top. Now, uh, I'm sorry, you have to click on this once to make sure it's on a page by itself so that you get the actual URL for just the image. And then I'm going to paste that in the image property of my image control and making sure to put the URL in quotes. Anytime you're using a URL, put it in quotes. And then I'm going to set the position of this to fill. So it's there's an image position. I'm going to set that to fill so it uses that whole space um, at the top for that image. Now I could make it, if I take the gallery and make it a little bit shorter, then I can make this image a little bit more obvious on the screen. But again, we're talking about logistics here. And that's all there is to this. It's a flexible height gallery. So even though it looks a little scrunched up when you're in edit mode, when you preview the app, you'll see it in the right mode where it'll adjust the height and it shows you the scripture. And that's all there is to this app. I think I also might have put the date up here. So I might have inserted a label and then I set this to perhaps today. I don't remember actually, but the today will give me the date. And so I think I just put that like in the upper right hand corner somewhere so we could see what date this was. Um, and I just made that white. And sometimes I don't remember what I did, but you'll get an idea. And I'll bold that so it stands out on the image and then I'll write justify it. Right. And so that just gives me today's date always at the top. And then I save this app and that's it. That's how easy this app is. Now, I did this app for me, so I didn't even need to publish it. Um, the first time you save, you are publishing, but this is on edit, so I can do I can do publish and I will publish that. Excuse the phone that was ringing. And then that is it. That's how easy it is, guys, to use an RSS feed. Try it out. Get creative. Find some interesting RSS feeds that could benefit your business. And enjoy. I, I wish you the best Power App experience ever.